Okay, y'all, here is a quick overview of our dual three quarter inch whistle free flex line kit. We get a lot of questions about it. Let's give it the overview here. What I've done is just kind of place this on my workbench here with some common installation elements. Now, uh, we get a lot of questions because you wonder why the dual flex line kit, how the dual flex line kit works, and I'm going to do my best to give you the anatomy and you can decide for yourself, although we highly recommend it. The first point of information, the dual flex line kit comes with, if you order it, comes with burners of 250,000 BTUs and over. Okay, there you go. Now, here's the anatomy. Of course, we know you're going to have your pipe coming in. In this particular case, it's a three-quarter to a three-quarter valve. All right, that's a quarter turn key valve. Now, this direction, I talk about in other videos, this is where your block is going to be or the sidewall of your fire pit. This distance is completely 100% relative on the construction of your fire pit. Block, pavers, CMU, aluminum frame, cement board, wood, you name it, this distance varies, okay? Here's your key valve. The escutcheon to the key valve, let's turn that up here. All right, that goes on the outside. That hole is two inches. When you drill through, you need an inch and a quarter diameter for that to slide through. Okay, now, as we go out of the key valve, these parts are included. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? This is a three quarter nipple going into a T, and each one of these is a three quarter, 36 inch long, stainless steel, whistle-free flex line kit. Now, why do you need two? Here's the answer. Flex line kits typically are rated up to a certain BTU. On our 250,000 and up, that's a lot of BTUs getting pushed through there. If your flex line is limited, you are limiting the fuel getting to the burner. Our dual flex line disperses that fuel to make sure that you're getting the most fuel from here up to the bottom of that burner. And it's, you can see that it's fairly simple. You T, you branch off of there, you have two flex lines into another T into the bottom of the plate okay now also depending on the burner let's focus on that two plate right and then that is called the fit and in this case it is a fit 250 you'll see that on the product description it's a T this piece is going up to the bottom of the plate there is a fit 180 and there is a fit 250 and there's a fit 300 depending on the BTUs. But the dual flex line kit is the dual flex line kit, okay? Again, you have straight fittings and you have compression fittings, all of these fittings to be done by a licensed plumber, a licensed installer, right? There you go, there's the, let's stand back and give you a nice overview of that thing. The dual flex line kit. Hope that helps. Thank you very much, and we will talk to you soon.